Mansfield and Ashland tonight. Vandalism closes down an entire school system. You could have a dime that is worth a lot of money. We'll tell you about that. Jack is home to talk about Muirfield, and Jim Ganahl has a frost warning. WCMH Television, Channel 4, Columbus, Ohio. News Watch 4 Columbus is next. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Adair. President Reagan is on his way back to Washington at this hour from Ashland, where he came tonight to honor the memory of conservative Republican Congressman John Ashburn. John uh, Greiner was in Ashland for the president's visit. He has just returned within the past 10 minutes with his report. Doug, the president spoke for about a half an hour after tonight's dinner, and he told the mostly conservative, mostly Republican audience that he is going to do what they all believe in already. Thank you. Just uh, getting in to hear the president uh, talk was not a very easy thing to do. You had to make it through Secret uh, Service clearance, and you had to pay $200 a couple, and 1000 if you went to the private cocktail party. And our Al Allison Ash says that that money added up to about $250,000, all to be used to remember John Ashbrook and his politics. John Ashbrook, guardian of free enterprise, bastion of Christian values, and conservative to the core. Those are for Ashland College. We saw two other young people today whose only thoughts were for their mother, a mother who was also a deputy sheriff. They were the daughters of Lieutenant Sharon Moore, who was buried today, and they said that their mother had lost her will to live now that the Moors were officially on duty at the time, even though they had not arrived for work, and that ruling could provide several hundred thousand dollars for their estates. The uh, Soviet Union is worried about the future of some of their dependents tonight, and so is pulling them out of Lebanon. And we'll be back with more on that in just a moment. You're watching News Watch for Columbus. Anchoring the news, Doug Adair. Sports reported by the Dean of Central Ohio Sportscasters, Jimmy Crum. And today's exclusive weather forecast, prepared by meteorologist Jim Ganahl. We'll have more News Watch for Columbus coming up. 350 years ago, the Roman Catholic Church condemned Galileo for saying that the earth revolved around the sun. Well, today, Pope John Paul II is saying that the church is older and why, if you don't have a dime like that, but just think of it this way, if you had one, you'd probably be so excited that you couldn't go to sleep tonight. We'll see you tomorrow night at 6. News Watch for Columbus is copyrighted by Outlet Broadcasting. Mona Scott joins Doug Adair on News Watch for Columbus early this summer. Thank you for... Tonight, Thank you, Larry, next. and uh, or Tom and Diane tonight. Coming up next, the massive pileup on I-71. And we're going to go to the home of Tina Resch, the 14-year-old who feels like the movie Poltergeist is happening to her. We're also going to be live at the continent where fire has chased uh, people out of some 36 apartments. We'll have closings, and in just a few minutes... CMH Television, Channel 4, Columbus, Ohio. News Watch for Columbus is next. Good evening. I'm Mona Scott. We have the first pictures taken of the accident. I'm Doug Adair. NBC cameraman Dave Hollis was on his way down I-71 today to Columbus to do a story on the Poltergeist house here. His news wagon, almost a total wreck. And they have come from all over the state of Ohio. They met with the uh, Secretary of Agriculture. They are meeting perhaps at this very moment with Senator Howard Metzenbaum, which may be the reason that he is unable to be with us uh, as of now, and meeting with many of the other leaders, trying to get some help to take back to the farmers who are so hard-pressed in the state of Ohio. We'll be right back. You're watching News Watch for Columbus. Anchoring the news, Doug Adair and Mona Scott. Sports reported by the Dean of Central Ohio Sportscasters, Jimmy Crum. And today's exclusive weather forecast, prepared by meteorologist Jim Ganahl. We'll have more News Watch for Columbus coming up. When you get your VCR, you can buy one of theirs for $490. Thank you. Imagine an ice cream sundae covered in hot fudge and nuts with whipped cream that you can eat every night if you want to and you will not gain a pound. Kathy Starling, our health reporter, uh, says that that may be in the future for those who love desserts. That's right, Doug. Sooner than any of us might think. Proctor... A uh, report like that, and you think back to the time when, when my mother was have, giving birth to me. She was never warned of any problems with, you know, smoking My grandmother had drinking. all of her kids at yeah. home. Yeah, big difference with medical technology, and I think that's one of the reasons this legislation yeah. is coming into the forefront. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Colleen. 